autumn leaves. We are going to begin open first string. And then we go second fret, third fret, and then all the way up to the eighth fret. So with the rhythm, we're gonna begin on the end of two. So we're gonna go one, two, and three, four, one, two. And then we have this. So I'm doing a bar covering four of the six strings. I'm hitting the fifth, fourth, third, and second strings. And then I go to this chord right here. It's a D9 chord. I'm just hitting the fifth, fourth, third, and second strings. So you've got this. And if you notice the rhythm, it's going to go, starts on beat three. So three, four, and. And I will try and make that staccato. So what I'll do with my right hand is I'll stop the strings for that second chord. So I'll just drop it right on those strings. So when I arrange this, I was thinking these chord parts are, would be like the big band playing. So you've got, and then the full band, ba, ba. So that's how I try and play it. So I'll go, and it goes to the next one. Third fret on the second string, open first, second fret, seventh fret. And then we're gonna go, this is a G major, major seventh chord, which then goes to a C major, major seventh chord. So you're gonna go, so same type of thing. So with the rhythm, if I start on the third measure, you've got one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, and. All right, measure five. We're gonna start on the first fret, second string, then go up to the third fret, open first, and then fifth fret on that fourth string. So with the rhythm, it's gonna go one, two, and three, four, one, two. Then this chord here, so this is an F sharp diminished chord, which then goes to a B seventh chord. So that's a nice move. You have this for the F sharp diminished chord. You keep your third and fourth fingers down and you just take your middle finger, move it to the fifth string, and your first finger goes to the fourth string. And there's the chord. So you have this, which then goes to here. So with the rhythm, one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, and. All right, next measure, open second, second fret, fourth fret. And then with my middle finger, I go to that third fret on the first string. Then we're gonna go B7, and then open strings. So open first, second, and third, plus that open sixth string. So you've got B7, so with the rhythm, it's gonna go one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, and. All right, measure nine. We're gonna start over again with that same melody that we did before. This time we're gonna add the walking bass. So what I would recommend doing is practicing those two parts separately. So the melody and then the bass. And once you feel good with both of those, then try and combine them, but, pr but play it very slowly to start off with. So measure nine, we have this, we've had this before, go up to here. Now we're gonna hit the open fifth string. The second finger comes around to get the B on the seventh fret sixth string. And then your third finger gets that C on the eighth fret. So you've got this, followed by open five. Another thing I'll do is I will try and play the bass part with just the flesh of my thumb because I don't want it to be too loud. If I use my nail, then that bass part will really be pretty loud. I still want that top part to come in um, louder than the bass. So I'll go, just again, just the flesh, and so on. Compare that, here's with, if I do it with the nail of my thumb, you go. You can really hear how that is, um, that's quite a bit louder. So again, I'll just try and do the flesh of my thumb. So you've got this. Measure 11, open four, second fret. And then the end of two, that middle finger will go on that third fret, second string. So you've got one, two, and third finger goes to the 
F sharp, which is the fourth string, fourth fret, plus open first. And then we're gonna go to here. So that's open four, second fret, first string. So slowly that measure is gonna go one, two, and three, four. Then we have this. This is a stretch. So I've got my thumb on the third fret, sixth string, and my pinky on the seventh fret, first string. So if you can't make that stretch, um, play the open G. Um, one thing you can do with the stretch is if you drop that left shoulder a little bit, it might help you get that stretch. So you've got this, open fifth, and then your middle finger gets that sixth fret, sixth string, third finger gets that seventh fret. And I do try and hold this down as much as possible. So you've got slowly. All right, measure 13. After we're, we ended up up here, now we're gonna go down third fret, second fret. Uh, the end of beat two, first finger will get that C natural, which is on that first fret, second string. And then pinky plus open five. Then you have this. So slowly it's gonna go one, two, and three, four, five. Uh, beat one, not beat five, Rob. So you got this, second finger, and again, I do try and hold that as much as possible. Second finger goes to third fret, open fifth, second fret, sixth string. So that measures. And then second fret, fifth string, first fret, fourth string. And then I let go. So I cut that note short to get the end of two. I jump right there to get the second fret, fifth fret, third fret. Now with the rhythm, it's gonna go one, two, and three, four. One more time. One, two, and three, four. All right, measure 16, we have this E minor chord. And I'll do a strum. And I try and get the nails in on the strum to make it brighter sounding. So you're gonna go beat one is here. Beat two, you're gonna slap your thumb on the strings close to the fingerboard to give you kind of a percussive sound. So you got one, two. And then the rest of this, the notes come on the end of the beat. So you've got one, two, and three, and four, and. So again, one, two, and three, and four, and. Measure 17, E minor chord again. Slap on beat two, like that. And then beat three you have this D sharp. So it's fourth fret on the second string. Often I'll slide into that note. Open first. So that measure is gonna go one, two, three, four. All right, so you begin with this F sharp diminished chord. Outer two strings, second string, third string, first string. So it's gonna go one and two and. That's gonna hold through beat three. And then the and of three is second string, third, second. So slowly it's gonna go one and two and three and four and. One more time. One and two and three and four and. Now you're gonna to go to that B7 chord. Again, you can keep your third and fourth fingers down and just move these, the middle finger to the fifth string and the first finger to the fourth string. So it's one and two and, I do try and keep at least the middle finger down. Open first string, back to that second fret. So one and two and three, four. All right, the next measure, we're gonna start with this pattern right here. So I got my middle finger on the second fret, fourth string, pinky on the third fret, first string. We're gonna go from here to here. So I've just taken that same pattern and moved it up to the my middle finger is out of the fourth fret. And then I take my pinky, move up to the seventh, and I put my first finger on the fifth on that fourth string. So you've got this, that, and then that. Now with the right hand, you're gonna hit those notes plus the open second and third. So it slowly it's gonna go one and two and three and four. 
So again, it's gonna go like this. One and two and three and four and. So measure 21, this is still ringing for the first part of the beat. So you don't do anything there. Uh, you're gonna hit the and of one, which is your open second, open third. And then you're gonna go down to here to get that G. So again, this is ringing for beat one, the first part of beat one. Then we have and, two, and. So again, ringing, first part of beat one, and, two, and, three, four. So those two measures, measures 20 and 21, sound like this slowly. One, and, two, and, three, and, four. So faster, it's gonna go like this. All right, so let's take a look at measure 22. We're gonna do a half bar at five. You hit the fifth string plus the first string. And then the second string, third string. So one and two and. We're gonna pinky up to the eighth fret. One and two and three and four and one and two. So once you're at the top, once you get up to this eighth fret, you're just gonna go pinky there, and then third finger, first finger, and then do the same pattern on the next string. Four, three, one, and then three on that D seventh fret. So slowly measure 22 and the first part of 23 go. One and two and three and four and one and two. Beat three. 10th fret, and then beat four is gonna be the eighth fret. So those two measures slowly go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. All right, then we're gonna have this chord again. So we've talked about this. It's, if you can't get this, just play your open third string. So we're gonna hit the sixth string and the first string, followed by an open second open third, and then the pinky comes down to the fifth fret. Open second, open third. So again, and two, and three, and four, and then we're gonna go up to the 10th fret. And what I do is I try and, I'll strum that with my nail to try and get kind of a bright sound there. So you got this, one, and two, and three, If you take a look at measure 25, we're up here. Um, the first part is ringing from the previous measure, which is measure 24. So in the and of beat one, you're gonna go and, two, and, three. And I'll just strum up and down. So I'll go. So it's and, two, and, three. One more time. And, two, and, three. Sixth fret. I use my middle finger there, and you're gonna just hammer on to the seventh fret. So that's beat four. So again, you've got one and two and three, four and. Then I just take my third finger and move it up to the eighth fret on that first string. Middle finger is on the seventh, on the eighth fret on the sixth string. And I hit those two. So these are octaves, they're two octaves apart. You can finger it this way, you can finger it this way. For me, it's just easier to do like this. And you're gonna hit that twice. One, two, down to the fifth fret. And then B7 chord. So I'm hitting the fifth and the first string, followed by the second, third string, and then the fourth. One and two and three and four. Beat four is gonna be this eighth fret first string. So again, one and two. All right, then we have these seventh chords that go down. So measure 28 is gonna go. And so you're gonna start off, this is an E minor seventh chord, and you're gonna hit the fifth, third, second, and first strings. So, and it's just written as an eighth note. So one and two and. So this is an A7 chord. 
So you're here, you're just gonna go the fifth fret and then the fingers go up one string. So you've got this, and then you go to the fifth fret, up a string, and I'm hitting the sixth, fourth, three, and second strings. So it's gonna go like this. One and two and three and four and. All right, so we ended up here. For measure 29, we're just gonna take this, these fingers, and move them down a string. And you're gonna hit the fifth, the third, second, and first strings. So that's beat one. And then we're gonna move down to the third fret and then move these up. So you can see the pattern. We're here, then we go here, and then we go here, and then we go here. So when you go here, you're gonna hit the, the sixth string, the fourth, third, and second strings. So in rhythm, it's gonna go one and two and three and four. Uh, the and of four is open one. All right, so then we have this D7 chord in first inversion. And so we're gonna hit the fourth string and the first string, followed by the second, third, first string. So again, one and two and three and beat four. First finger goes to that G third fret. So you got this one and two and three and four and B7 chord. So I'm hitting the fifth and the first string, second string, third. And then I slide up from that second fret to the third fret. So you got this. And then beat four is here. So the rhythm is gonna go one and two and three and four and. All right, open string. So you're gonna hit the open six, open first string. Open second, open third. And then we have the bass is gonna move. It's gonna go from the second fret to the third fret to the fourth fret. So you're gonna go one and two and three and four and. So again, one and two and three and four and. Then if you take a look at measure 33, the first part is tied over from the previous measure. This is going to be the open second string. It's going to be the and of beat one. So one and two. And then the third finger goes to that fourth fret like that. So you're going to go one and two and three and four. So those two measures together, I'll play it through it twice slowly. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four so again one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four so faster it goes like this So measure 34 begins the solo section. So if you were to improvise, this is where you would do that. We've already gone through the whole piece and now we're gonna start from the top again, go through the same chord progression and add a little solo to it. So if you take a look at measure 34, I start, I do a staccato half bar at five, like just like that. So half bar at five, eighth fret, seventh fret, and then open. So with the rhythm, it's one, two, three, and. So one more time. And then I take my middle finger on that seventh fret first string, and I play that plus the open four, and I'm gonna slide up to the 12th fret, just like that. Hit that two more times, and then I go to that 14th fret. So it's slowly it's gonna go. And then you're gonna hit that 12th fret again, and then to the 10th fret. So very slowly, those two measures sound like this. All right, measure 36. We're gonna to get to this chord. We've done this before, this shape. Uh, if you can't do this, again, just hit the open third string, but you're gonna go, so first, second, third, and then up to the, 10th fret, and then open 2nd and 3rd. So with the rhythm it's going to go 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. One more time. 1 and 2 and 
three, and four. Measure 37, you're gonna start with a five, six bar at three. And you're gonna hit, and you start with this pinky down as well on the fifth fret. So you'll hit that, and then take off the pinky, so it's. And then you're gonna do a little slide up from the fifth fret to the seventh. So again. And then you take that pinky, go back to the fifth fret, third fret, and then you have that. So my middle finger goes over to the third fret on the sixth string. So slowly that measure goes. One more time. Then you have this F sharp diminished chord we've seen before. So you're gonna hit the outer two strings, second string, first string. And then you're gonna have a series of slides down. So you start off the fifth fret, slide down. And then I, what I do with my thumb is I just hit that sixth string so that it slaps against the fingerboard. So after you have the slide, you'll go. And then up to the eighth fret. And then up to the twelfth fret. And then what we're gonna do, I, what I do is I, my 12th fret slides down to the second fret and then I form this B7 chord. So I hit the fifth, third, and second, and first strings. And then I slide it up 12 frets to here. So it's gonna go. One more time. So those two measures slowly sound like this. All right, and then measure 40. I start with this form. So my middle finger is on that second fret, fourth string, pinky is on the third fret, first string. So you play those, the fourth and the first string, open second, open third, and then you're gonna move this up so that the middle finger is at the fourth fret, hit that, and then open second and third. And then just the pinky goes up to the seventh. You take off the middle finger and you hit those outer strings. So slowly that measure goes. So I'll count the rhythm out. So it's gonna go one and two and three and four and. So faster it's gonna go. All right, measure 41. We have, we're here at the seventh fret and it's ringing from the previous measure the first part of the beat, first part of beat one. And then open second, open third, and then we'll hit that first string again, and then open first. So again, beat one, the first part is ringing from the previous measure, so it's gonna go one, and two, and three, and four, and. So slowly measures 40 and 41 go like this. Faster those two measures go. All right, let's take a look at measure 42. Half bar at five. And I just go seventh fret, eighth fret. And then seventh fret, open. So with the rhythm, one and two and three and four and. A little faster. We're gonna go middle finger at the 12th fret on the first string, down to the 10th, up to the 14th, back to the 12th, the 10th, and then the 8th. So again. With the rhythm, one and two and three and four. So faster is gonna go. All right, measure 44 is just a repeat of measure 36. We have this. And then likewise, measure 45 is just a repeat of measure 37. Then we have this F sharp diminished chord in measure 46. So hit the outer two strings. So outer two strings, second, third, back to the first, and then second, third. So one and two and three and four and. So faster. All right, measure 47, B7 chord. 
Now this is a syncopated figure. You're gonna go one and two and three and four and. So again, one and two and three and four and. And then this is the same. We had this before. All right, so beginning at measure 45, here is this line faster. So measure 49, we're gonna be on that E minor chord, slap, and then, so we've done that before. And we're gonna get into this F sharp diminished chord, and we're gonna hit the outer two strings, second string, third string, and then we're gonna go up to the fifth fret and hold that and then go to the third fret and the first fret. So with the rhythm, one and two and three and four. One more time. One and two and three and four. So a little faster. Measure 51. We have this B7 chord. 5th string and the 1st string, 2nd, 3rd, and then we're going to go up and do this B7 chord up here. So we've got this, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. One more time. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. Faster. Alright, and then measure 52. Open. Open 1st, plus the 6th string. Second, third, and I go pinky on the third fret, and then open second, third, and then up to the seventh fret. So that measures you go one and two and three and four and a little faster. All right, measure 53. We're still ringing from the previous measure for the first part of the beat. Open second, open third up to the 12th fret and again and again so again it's going to go one and two and three and four so those two measures 52 53 slowly go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four faster All right, so let's start at measure 54. We're gonna do a four six bar at five. I'm hitting the fifth, and then the fourth, third, and second. So I'm just hitting, using the thumb on the first one. So it's one. On the end of one, I do not hit the thumb, but I use the finger. So it's one, and two, and three, and four, and. All of those come on the ands, other than the very first one. One, and two, and three, and four, and. And then we go to this chord right here. This is a D7 chord at the fifth fret, and I'm hitting the inner string. So the fifth, the fourth, third, and second strings. So you've got this before, one and two and three and four and one. All right, and in the end of beat two, I'm gonna do this octave, like that. So you've got this, one and two and three and four and. So faster. Again. All right, measure 56. We've got this thing again. And like I've said before, if you can't hit that third fret on the sixth string, hit the open third string. So you've got this. Pinky goes to the fifth. Then it goes to the third. So the rhythm, one and two and three and four and. Faster. Again. Measure 57. Uh, this is still ringing from the previous measure, so first beat. So we're going to hit the open second string. That's the end of one. And then we're going to go to there. So you got this. All right, so then measure 57, the fourth beat. We have this hammer on. We've had this before. And then we're going to do, we had this before. Except we're going to do the same basic thing, except change the right hand a little bit. So I'm hitting the thumb, plus I'm using my ring finger on that first string. 
I'm going ring, middle, index. And then I go down to the fifth fret. So the rhythm is gonna go one and two, three and four and. One more time. B7 chord. Fifth string, first string. Second, third, and then thumb hits that fourth string. So you got. there so it's one more time all right and then if you take a look at uh, the next measure it's the same thing as measures 28 and 29 with one slight difference so 28 and 29 we did this so with the right hand with this chord I hit the first second and third strings and then when I went down to this chord, my right hand hit the second, third, and fourth string, like that. So I went like this. And then to the first, second, and third strings, and then to the second, third, and fourth. Well, the left hand's exactly the same. The difference is, is now these fingers are always gonna hit that first, second, and third strings. So that's, it's not gonna change back and forth like we did when we did this in measure 28 and 29. It's just gonna all, always hit these three strings. So it's, so it's like this. So hopefully you can hear that, but it's all just hitting hitting those strings. All right, the end of measure 61, we have this open first. So we're here with the rhythm. It's one and two and three and four and. Then we have this D7 slash F sharp chord. We had it earlier. Hit the fourth and the first strings. And then I go up to the eighth fret and in the fifth fret, and then open first. So it's. So again. With the rhythm. One and two and three and four and. So faster. All right, the next measure is exactly the same as measure 31. So it's just a repeat. And likewise, measures 64 and 65 are just a repeat of measures 32 and 33. All right, so let's start at measure 66. We're gonna do start off with this four six bar at five. And just kind of a quick little, I usually try and get that to stop ringing pretty quickly. And what I'll do is I'll just use my left hand and just drop that down on the strings to stop it. So you're gonna go. Maybe you don't want the ring to hit it, but. Now as far as the rhythm, it's one, two, and three, and four. All right, next measure. So I slide into that 10th fret on the second string. And then you're, if you use your third finger there, you're all set with the first finger. And then third finger, and I just put that up, take that third finger to the 12th fret. So the rhythm, it goes one and two, three, four. So. so those two measures go. All right, measure 68, you've got this G chord thing we've done before. And then, so I've got that. My pinky goes up to the 10th fret, and then the 8th fret, and then 7th fret. So you got. With the rhythm, it's one, two, and three, and four. So the same rhythm that we had in measure 66. So again, it's gonna go. Measure 69. So you start uh, eighth fret on that first string with the middle finger, and then you just hammer on pull off. So it, kind of a quick little ornament. So after that, you go to the fifth fret, and stay here, seventh fret, and then the fifth fret, and then open. So you've got rhythm slowly, it's gonna go one and two and three and four. F sharp diminished. Now on beat two, what I'll do with my thumb is I'll just slap that string. 
I'll just hit that so that it creates that percussive sound off the fingerboard. That's B2. One, two. The end of two, you're going to go to the fifth fret and then to the third fret and then open. With the rhythm, it's going to go like this. One, two, and three, and four. So again, one, two, and three, and four. The next measure is very similar. We have a different chord though, B7. And then I tend to slap on the fifth string. If you hit the sixth string, that's fine. Um, B7, uh, slap on B2, and then you're gonna slide up seventh fret. Same rhythm. So slowly it's gonna go one, two, and three, and four. So those two measures go. Now the next two measures are the same as 52 and 53. So you have this. So we've already done that. And then if you take a look at measure 74, it's the same as what we just did in measure 66. And 67. Then we have this. So it's that G thing. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slap on the sixth string. So one, two. On the end of two, I'm gonna go up to the 10th fret and then slide down. So you've got this. So again, slowly. And then after you, when you slide down, then you're gonna hit this again and you go up to the 12th fret and slide down. So slowly it's gonna go like this. One. Again. And if you look at the next measure, it just continues that. You've got that, and you're gonna go up to this fret right here. So 12, 13, 14, 15th fret. So you got this. And then open. So those two measures, 76 and 77, slowly go like this. And then on the end, and then on beat four of 77, you hit these open strings, first, second, and third. And then measures 78 and 79 are just a repeat of 70 and 71. So we've had this before. And then we have this again. So that's the same as measures 48 and 49. You're going to find that from here on out, it's all repetition, except for just a couple little things. So if you take a look at measure 82, we have this F sharp diminished chord again. We've done this figure before. Once you get to the third string, you're going to take that pinky, slide it up to the third fret, and then second fret, open. With the rhythm, it goes one and two and three and four. And then measure 83 is just a repeat of measure 31. And then this is a repeat. And then measure 86 is a repeat of measure 66. And then the next measure is a repeat of measure 55. And then this is the same as measure 56. And then this is the same as measure 57. Like I said, a lot of repetition. And this is the same as 58. 59. And then when we get to measure 92, it's the same as what we did in measure 60, and then also 61, where we did this. The difference is, is we're going to arpeggiate that now. So now we're going to do the same chords, and then down to here, then down to, then to here, and then if you take a look at the next measure, we have that. Next measure is the same as measure 82. And this is the same as measure 83. And this is a repeat. All right, and then from here on out, we're just gonna repeat the very beginning where we did. And so on. Now, if you look at the very last part of it, so if you take a look at the last two measures, we have this E minor nine chord. So it looks like this. And what I do is I strum it the first time. And then I do this kind of raschiato. strumming back and forth. So I'm fanning the fingers out, the thumb comes up, fingers out, thumb. You can 
also do this where you just take like a finger and just go back and forth like that. So you have this. So after I strum it once, and then I strum it again, and I just let it ring. 